mutations. The smallest form of variable mutation is located in the sequence of nitrogenous bases. The nitrogenous bases are located in the DNA strand in every cell nucleus. A change, deletion, or substitution of a nitrogenous base causes the mutations in the cell. This mutation has a direct link to the change of the proteins that control all of the cellular processes in the body. Every amino acid has a unique codon, or pattern of three nitrogenous bases. Then the protein has a unique series of amino acids that control the shape and ultimately the function. The mutation of just one nitrogenous base will result in a different sequence of amino acids and alter the shape and the, of the protein. When the shape of the protein changes, the function of the protein is changed also. The DNA nitrogenous sequence follows an ordered process called the central dogma which describes the information transfer in the cell. It begins with replication, moves to transcription, and ends with translation. Replication occurs in the nucleus during cell division and cytokinesis. The DNA strand splits and is reassembled as two identical strands. Reassembly is accomplished by the complementary bases attaching to the template. Transcription occurs in the nucleus, taking DNA molecules and reading off the sequence of nitrogenous bases to create a strand of RNA. The DNA molecule is being altered by an enzyme called RNA polymerase. RNA polymerase unzips the DNA strand by breaking the hydrogen bond. Translation occurs in the ribosome, which is a protein-rich body common in all cells. The ribosome reads a sequence of nitrogenous bases on the RNA strand, ultimately creating an amino acid. The code for each amino acid is carried on three adjacent nitrogenous bases, which is called a codon, and the amino acid are produced one by one. See what happens when the nitrogenous base A is changed to a G. What causes this mutation? Cigarette smoke and ultraviolet light leads to the mutations of the nitrogenous bases in the DNA sequence. This leads to the production of an inappropriate amino acid sequence, ultimately producing non- or wrong-functioning proteins. The proteins, like we described at the beginning of the video, control all the cellular functions. This loss of control can be expressed in many small or large ways. A major result can be cancer, which can ultimately lead to death. After watching this video, I'm sure you'll think twice before lighting up or lying down.